Today, we're here to introduce our new uh, BetAware buckle for our Beta Belt. And I uh, just wanted to show this to you today. Um, and we're going to be explaining what it is that makes this new buckle so much better than the other uh, versions. So just real quickly, I thought I'd go uh, briefly into the history of how we arrived at this buckle. Um, you know, initially, when we were looking at buckles for the new Beta Belt, uh, we were thinking about something similar to this, which is a, a side release buckle. They're kind of cool because you can press here and the, the uh, belt releases like that, which is kind of a, a neat uh, effect. But uh, one disadvantage is that you end up with a buckle um, with two plastic pieces sewn on either end. And uh, one of these two pieces is going to have to go through your belt loop. So if you have a strap that's one and a half, half inches thick already, um, then this plastic piece, which is typically bigger than that, will have to be threaded through, which can be a real pain. So we decided that we were more interested in something that was more of what we call a, a cam style buckle <clears throat> in which you have a the strap that can be threaded through the buckle on one end and then cinched down. Here's sort of a standard cam style buckle. Um, and uh, you know there are some manufacturers out there that actually make a belt with a buckle that looks pretty much just like this. You know, and uh, they're very strong. Um, but you know, as you can see, it basically looks like a buckle that you would use to strap down something in the back of your truck. Um, and you know, uh, I guess it's functional, but um, it wasn't exactly what we were looking for. So we arrived at uh, this buckle, which is uh, you know, it's a nice buckle. It it it's rounded, uh, it's smooth. It looks like it's a belt buckle. Um, and it's out there. It's not very easy to find, but uh, they, they are uh, in, available in the marketplace from you know a few different manufacturers. Um, none that I could find in the U.S. But uh, so this buckle opens uh, and it stays perpendicular when it's open, um, and it cinches down and it works uh, quite well for the one and a half inch wide um, strap that we have. So. I just want to mention there are some other different sizes out there. For example, some people have asked why, you know, why don't you do a strap in the one and a quarter inch uh, thick, which, you know, is something we may do in the future. But when you look at a one and a quarter inch buckle, if you can tell that's significantly smaller than the one and a half inch buckle. So when you're looking at this on the website, um, you know, this one without any frame of reference looks like a perfectly good sized buckle, but um, you know, when you actually receive your belt, it's going to be probably smaller than you imagined. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's surprising that there's that big of a difference in the dimensions between a one and a half inch uh, strap buckle and one for one and a quarter. Um, and the smaller you go, the smaller the components are inside of the uh, buckle that allow it, to, that, that keep it uh, together. And then even smaller still, is a one inch, which we've you know, briefly considered doing a one inch just as an alternative. But um, this buckle is extremely small, and you know, I frankly can't put a whole lot of faith that that's going to stay together. So, you know, we have our buckle, and there's quite a bit of things that make our buckle better. Um, first and foremost, is the strength of the buckle, which we're going to be demonstrating here in a moment. <clears throat> Another thing, besides just the strength of the buckle, which is primarily in these pins, which hold the top panel onto the buckle, um, it also, as you can see, uh, lays further back from the perpendicular 90 degree angle. This is so when people pull the strap sometimes this way to tighten it, <clears throat> if it's up at a 90 degree angle, it makes it a little bit more prone to get in the way and potentially break, whereas if it's laid back like this, the strap can slide this way without um, causing additional issues. It also fits a little bit tighter on the belt. The snaps are a little bit firmer and stronger. Uh, they, 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 they become easier to open over time. Initially, it might be a little bit tight. It also has a uh, embossed or debossed logo uh, for our Beta brand. It's fairly inconspicuous, but uh, I think it looks pretty cool.